Hey guys, Sean Carpenter here from the All In Group of Coaches. Um, coming at you live. You know, it's a Monday night here. Uh, it's about uh, seven thirty p.m. PST. Um, you know, I wasn't actually going to get on here today, but I kind of made a commitment to myself and and to anybody watching, anybody that, you, that these videos might benefit, uh, to be on here regularly. You know, I kind of planned on doing it much earlier in the day. Uh, got caught up in a couple other things, you know, some appointments and so forth, and you know, I was kind of tired. I did, you know, did a bit of a workout here, and I thought, you know what, I don't feel like it, but I decided to live up to that commitment nonetheless. So here I am. Uh, so if you're on here live, say hi. Um, you're gonna find that I'm getting, uh, gonna be back to being doing this more consistently, uh, you know, like I did in the past. Uh, if you were watching these before, as I know a lot of people did. Um, you know, so if you're on here, say hi, leave a comment, drop your name, tell me where you're from. If you're watching the recording on Facebook, uh, likewise, you can do the same. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So anyway, you know, I was thinking about what I wanted to share uh, today and, and what relevance it might be to you if you're watching in business, in your relationships, uh, for you personally, whatever, whatever that is. And I was reflecting on the last few days. And you know, Saturday, this past Saturday, so it's Monday today, this past Saturday, um, actually the whole weekend was, was wonderful really, but the past Saturday really stuck out in that, um, you know, without going into details, uh, you know, in terms of how or why and the lesson and so forth, I'll get there one day, but uh, most of you know that I'm presently separated, but uh, we've maintained a, a, and are building a good friendship. And anyway, uh, Saturday I got to spend the entire day with my kids um, at different times, uh, well, Friday night, Saturday, and then Sunday as a family, all of us. But, uh, what was really great about Saturday was Saturday morning, um, you know, I woke up, one of, one of my boys was here with me and we, we picked up my other boy. So the three of us went to go train Muay Thai together. Uh, my, bo my boys are 20 and 17, uh, 17 year olds already had a couple of fights under his belt. You might've seen a previous blog post on that video that I did about that. But anyway, um, just getting back into the groove, you know, we've all had uh, several months off actually. So just kind of getting back into training and we went in and, you know, <laughs> I'm very out of shape. Um, it kills me to even try and keep up with them at their out of shape level. Um, if you can call it that or they're out of practice level anyway, but, uh, went in and we had just the, you know, the most fun and it was such a phenomenal workout that, that morning, you know, round after round of sparring and, and several, and several drills that we did. It was just, it was, it was great. You know, it killed me. I, could be, I, I thought I was going to throw up, to be honest. But uh, um, it just felt so incredible to, one, to be doing something that I'm very, very passionate about. And two, um, to be spending that time with my kids. You know, really, really amazing. So we did that. We had a, you know, we're there for probably a good hour and a half, maybe two hours. I don't know. Um, got in there with, with several of the other people that we train with. Really, really great. Um, so we finished up. You know, I, I dropped them off and, and picked up my daughter. And um, my daughter, again, if you followed any of my previous posts or, or videos, she's a phenomenal artist. I'm, I'm a, I call myself a semi-professional artist. You know, I do, uh, I do sell a few pieces per year. Um, I've been doing art my entire life, went to school for it. But uh, at 15 years old, you know, I personally think, and I'm quite good at, you know, at, at art. I've had different awards and whatnot, but, um, at 15 years old, I think she has much more talent than, uh, and skill than I did at that age. So she's gonna far surpass me. But anyway, uh, one of the things we love doing together is creating art. So painting, drawing, you name it. Um, and so we spent the entire day doing that. And I helped her, um, you know, I kind of gave her tips here and there. I mean, you know, I'm trying to pull back and let it, let the creative juices flow for her. But uh, you know, I, I do offer tips and stuff when she asks. Uh, or trying to direct, direct her like I would a, a coaching client. And um, she produced probably one of the most amazing pieces she's done so far, just gorgeous, really, really, it was a self-portrait, but uh, done with a kind of an abstract style, but with a couple of realistic parts, the eyes and the, and the, and the mouth. And the eyes were phenomenal. Anyway, uh, you know, I got to work on my own, one of my own pieces, actually a, a piece that I'm doing for, for my nephews and my, my sister. Um, so I had a lot of fun with that too. And, you know, in doing this, you know, we spent all day, you know, between training and, and doing art, 
We spent all day just really connecting, really diving into passions, forgetting about you know work, forgetting about school, forgetting about other things, and just really, really enjoying time. Now, why do I bring this up, you guys? Uh, very simply, uh, kind of two things stand, stand out. Number one, regardless of what you're doing, whether you're working for yourself, whether you have your own business, whether you're in sales, whether you're an employee, whether you're a stay-at-home mom, wherever you are, whether you volunteer, whatever it is. One of the things that I, I was taught early on, so I've had my coaching practice for about eight years, going on nine, something like that. Um, yeah, so eight years, I guess, just over eight years. One of the things that I was taught early on was minimum, you need to take 24 hours off entirely from coaching and focus on other things. So, so I, I've mostly adopted that and I find that when I truly do that, when I can not just take time off from, from doing sessions or emails or phone calls, but actually put it out, out of my mind and focus on other areas of my life uh, for that particular day or that particular weekend, it is like an absolute recharge. You feel, you feel refreshed, you feel uh, alive, you feel replenished, nourished, uh, fulfilled. It is so, so important. So again, regardless of your industry or what you're doing, what you spend your days doing, if you can take that time, I really, really encourage you, if you can take that time to refresh, even if it's only half a day, and do something just for you, or, or, or in this instance where you're really connecting, I really, really encourage you to take that time because why? Because it's kind of like you, you, know, you take your phone and you know, it's operating at, at 3% and you've got all these apps open, it won't operate very well, right? But if you have it char full, char um, fully charged, if you close down all the unused apps, it functions a lot better, true or false. Well, it's true, right? So as human beings, you know, I know it's a simple analogy, but as human beings, we're much the same. So that, that recharge, that refresh is so, so critical. So the next point I wanna make is not only is the recharge or the refresh essential, but probably even more essential is finding something that lights you up from the inside. You know, for me, it, it's actually never really changed from the time I was very young. Martial arts, um, art and writing, you know, two things that I'm, again, I'm semi professional at both. Um, uh, you know, I ran a full-time martial arts school for many years. Um, so martial arts, art and writing, uh, spending time with my family, so in this case, my kids, um, nature and then meditation, mindfulness and non-duality teaching. So my, my five passions, they've never really changed. And what you want to do, the reason why you want to do that is you want to find something that just absolutely lights you up, that lights you on fire. Why? Because then essentially you're accessing your best self. You're accessing your best self and you're bringing that best self into areas that might be challenging, that might be, uh, you know, dull maybe, that might be ineffective or problematic or just day to day, you know, maybe you're just used to it, maybe it's a routine. So if you can find that spark, if you can light that spark and, and find, you know, light that fire inside of you, you get to realize not only a better performance, but much deeper level of fulfillment. This is my own experience at least, but also my experience working with, you know, so many people over the last eight years. Finding that spark is critical. Why? Because there's going to be things that challenge you that are really, really difficult to deal with, um, whether it's other people, circumstances, uh, your own emotional or behavioral patterns. So if you can find something to, to recharge and to fill you up, you bring that with you into those other, excuse me, those other times that, that you know, things aren't going the way you want them to, okay? Or just day-to-day -day life. You just make it better. You can take something good and make it great. You can take something great and make it phenomenal. Okay, so there's many, many options. Um, so here's what I want you to do. Now, some of you watching this might already know what you're passionate about, but I found uh, more often than not, than not, it does take a little bit of digging. And when I'm working with people one-on-one, -on -one, quite often they kind of have an idea about what they're, what they're passionate about, but 
you know, for various reasons, they've, they've lost sight of it or lost uh, alignment with that passion. Um, whether it's a limiting belief, whether it's a, a deep unconscious thing, um, you know, such as a limited belief or, or pattern, uh, whether it's just feeling like they don't have enough time, whatever it is, they've lost sight of it. So today, what I'm encouraging you to, you to do, if you're watching this, I'd love to hear what your passions are, by the way, uh, if you can, if you do know them or you do find them. Uh, but I can ask you a couple of questions, leave you with a couple of questions. Again, if you're on here live, if you're watching the video, um, if you're reading the blog post later on when I post it. So I've got a couple of questions for you to consider. I'd love to hear your answers. Uh, but regardless, this is just for you. So first one, what's possible? What's actually possible for you specifically as an individual? Not just like anything's possible, just the generic no name kind of kind of answer. It's a it's a bullshit kind of answer. What really is possible for you? To help you answer that, you know, here's a couple other questions. What is the dream? What's your biggest dream? Even if you're again, even if you lost lost touch with it, what's your dream? And more importantly, what's exciting to you about that dream? So what's exciting to you about that dream? It kind of told, tells you what's possible. Um, another way of asking that, so a, kind of a two-part question is, what's the urge? What's your intuition telling you? What's your gut telling you? Another way to ask all that, I think I put it in the, in the description, is what are you called to in life? Not just what do you want, but what are you called to? What's that deep, deep desire? So answer those questions, you guys. Do some journaling about it. You know, Take your time, explore it, trust your gut, trust that uh, intuitive faculty. Uh, if you want to, you know, post some of your comments. I'd love to hear it support you in pursuing those passions. Uh, so with that, you guys, Sean K. Carpenter for, I don't have a name for it, but we, I did call it Motivation Monday before. Um, and you know, just kind of some some little bit of little little uh, inclination towards coaching, a little example of some coaching, some tips, some strategies, etc. Whatever I can do to share with you. Uh, and so with that, I will see you next Monday. Um, you know, I mean, if you have any questions or or you want to reach out, please feel free. I'd love to hear from you. Other than that, I will see you guys very soon. Cheers.